we got our two pieces of felt and if you cut them in layers you'll find that they actually are slightly stuck together um, so leave them like that this is good and we've got our carrot top now find the center top of your carrot and pass your carrot top in into a sandwich so here we are we have a green carrot top between two carrots now this is a top sewn project so what we're going to do is we're going to stitch around the outside quite close to the outside Hopefully the layers should hold together quite nicely. Don't worry if it's not perfect because the beauty of this is we can come along afterwards and trim it up. Right, do a few back stitches. We've left a gap. I've left a slightly different gap to the one on the pattern, but that's fine. So you've got a small amount of stuffing. You don't want too much in your carrot, but if you just pop your stuffing in the holes, it's just to give it a bit of shape, a bit of 3D-ness. Push it all the way down to the bottom. My finger's actually in there somewhere. You really don't need very much. So you can use all of the rest on your tail. You don't want it to be firm. You don't want it to be limp. Nobody likes a limp carrot, do they? Although with this sun at the moment that we're having, I suspect many people's vegetable plots have got wilty carrots. Right, so I have not purposely not filled it out completely because what we're going to do is we're going to push that back as far as we can. And then we're going to carry on with our stitching to close it up. So forwards, backwards a little bit. And meet up where we started. So guess what I've done? Left my scissors. From when I cut the carrot out. So there's our little man. Take these threads off. Okay. Normally I'd have this right up close to my face so I could see where they were, but if I did that, you'd either have my massive forehead in your video or you wouldn't see the carrot. Now, give it a bit of a squash round. We want to try and, this is where we sealed up. We want to try and smush some of that stuffing bit more equally. Now you can see with my stitch line it's actually quite good down this side but there are some parts where the felt is out of alignment so this is a nice technique just for neatening. Just go around with your scissors through both layers and tidy it up. I'm not very equal over here so I'm going to try and catch the equalness of that seam back by having a little haircut. Lovely. And I'm not entirely happy with my point. So we're just going to take that off there. Right. <clears throat> so that's the basic carrot. If you wanted to, you could have a bit of fun and you could take a bite out of this carrot. And to do that, when you are stitching, if you start at the top, you come round here, you get to about this point, just make, just sew in like this, make a bite mark, carry on, do the rest of the project exactly the same way. And then when you do the trimming up afterwards, you're just going to cut out that bite mark. Um, leaving the same seam allowance as we have on the other pieces. And that's your carrot, so that's a bit of fun. Mm -hmm.